What's going on guys? So I am in Western Columbia right now in a little town called Melgar and it's here that reportedly all the drug lords during the drug heydays here in Columbia built huge resorts, huge mansions and when that was all cracked down all these mansions around here have been abandoned and nature is reclaiming them. So in this video for the next couple of days we're going to explore this part of Columbia and as you guys may know abandoned places are snake magnets so after dark tonight we're gonna go explore some of these abandoned drug lords houses and see what kind of reptiles we can find there. I'm Dave Kaufman and these are my reptile adventures. Is this on? No. <laughs> well, that didn't work because you were handling it, so that was... All right. Thank you, Amy. All right, we are going to work our way up this way. These are extremely slippery rocks, but that right there is Maldonado, our guide, and his two daughters that have joined us, and Amy Benzie. Whoa! Oh, holy crap. Look at that. Wow! Oh, look at this crab! <sighs> Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Dave Kaufman, reptile hunter, afraid of a crab. What is this, like a soapbox crab? They haven't been studied that well. They, oh, so this might be an undescribed species of crab. There we go. Female. I got him. Oh, look, look at baby crabs. Oh, we got baby crabs underneath. All over, yeah. We look got them, baby crabs. Oh, they're, they're dripping. Oh, there are tons of them. The baby crabs Those are dripping all over me. Yeah, that's what in the water. All right, let's, let's put you back in the water. Te gusta cangrejos? No? <laughs> Look at that. She has all these baby little crabs. So obviously this is a female, but this was super cool. All right, off you go, mama. You fish off here? I said off you go. There you go. Look at that. Wow, this place is absolutely amazing. That is a giant amoeba. That is one of the biggest amoebas I've ever seen. Holy crap, I thought it was a tegu at first. Look at that guy. Usually these guys are super spooky. This guy's just sitting there. At Dubia.com, all the roaches are raised in-house in sterile conditions and then packed and shipped on-site directly to you. For all your Dubia needs, order today at Dubia.com or see the link in the description below. All right, so we've just gotten a little snake here. cat eye snake. cat eye snake. It's a cat eye snake. Neptoderia septentrionalis. Actually, we have in the States. Yes, we do. Yeah. And this is a little rear-fanged mildly venomous snake and how common are these here very common actually that the real symptoms now this makes them going to some you know, oh, there we go but it, they're a lot different but it has the same yeah they call cat eye snakes and they're rear fang snakes yeah one of you venomous rear fang snakes in the states because it's yeah but they only get to a couple of counties in texas but yeah i mean this species ranges from the united states all the way down here through central america through mexico and into Colombia here. All right, that's fantastic. Yeah, I actually looked at that one. All right, we will set her aside, but take a look at where we found her, so. No, she was in the hole there, probably looking for, um... There we go. Off you go, little girl. Or come back, whatever, you know, whatever you want. Look at that. God, gorgeous snake. Um, All right, so, yeah, so you can see the ruins here of the drug lord's house, and man, back in the 80s, being a drug lord paid, but look at this pool. This is one of two pools that's found on this property, and uh, this is, this is pretty amazing. Anybody down there? We have the girls on the No. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> well, I just had dinner. What, you found the first snake? Yeah. Found the snake. But look at this. Man, I want to walk right here. I want to be a little afraid. But it seems pretty solid. Yeah, um, I almost fell through back over there, so. But look at this. This is the ruins of a drug lord's house here in Colombia. And now, look at this. Nature is reclaiming it. And we're here in the middle of the night finding snakes. I mean, I, I don't know how to get much better than that. All right, here we go. 
watch me fall right into the pool. Uh -uh. Success. Oh, I'm great. Wow, that's chill. a big crack. Just chill. What's that? The board you will. Yeah. Well, there's got to be a bow around here somewhere. This must have been the stables. Oh? Maybe. Huh. So cool. So, think about this for a second. Back in the 80s, maybe late 70s, this was somebody's mansion, a drug lord's mansion, and now that person is either dead or still in prison somewhere, but these like ruins from these drug lords are all up and down this area of Colombia that we're in, and we are uh, using them in a way that probably no one has ever used them before because we're using them as snake magnets. But, man, just being in a Colombian drug lord's mansion and finding snakes. I've had a lot of really amazing reptile adventures in my life, but this one is kind of the most surreal. But here, we're gonna go up these stairs here. And uh, here's the other pool. And you can see that nature is totally taken over here. We got another cat-eyed snake. Another one? Yep, right on the edge of the pool here. Bigger one? Uh, about the same size as the last one. Let's go get him. Oh, he just sucked back up. He's under that cement there. Oh, in the cement? Yeah, he's... Oh, I thought he was in, I was looking at the water. No, he was coming out of the cement there. He's all waiting, he'll come back up. Yeah, he will. Well, two cat-eyed snakes. But, yeah, this place is kind of crawling with snakes. And, uh, yeah, this pool has completely been reclaimed by nature, and now it's a pond with a bunch of duckweed and a bunch of cat-eyed snakes. And then this was the uh, main part of the guy's mansion. And if we go up here, oh, look at that. Do I? It's a tree frog. Oh yeah, we saw one of those before. What kind of tree frog is that? I, I could look it up, but I have no clue. We're not sure what kind of tree frog you are, so we'll look it up and I'll I'm put the, the name right on the screen there. And I'm a the venomous. Some kind of tree frog, but that's cool. All right, well, leaving the tree frog behind, I wanted to come up here and show you the actual inside of this mansion. Look at this. But, uh, yeah, this is just absolutely surreal to see how much nature has reclaimed of this place. And i got to be careful because there's tons of fair lances around here and they could be anywhere in here. This is like the, maybe the main room, I don't know. Yeah. I was not invited to this house when the drug lord owned it, so I can only guess. But uh, this is just one of many, many rooms in this place. So cool. All right. But it's just a matter of time before we find a boa or a fair to lance or something in here. Wow. Or a drug lord and we get kidnapped and held for ransom until the drug lord is released. Wow. Stairway going up to uh, nothing. Did all that. And over here, just the other side. Let's see what's under Mr. King. Cockroach. Huh. Man. This is amazing. Okay. So we got, uh, oh yeah. It was actually just caught a moth. There you go. Is that a uh, goinotides or is that yeah. a hemodactylus? Hemodactylus. That's hemodactylus. So that is one of the invasive uh, house geckos that are literally now found oh, everywhere oh, in the we'll world. In the Amazon. Yep, yeah. we'll find them all over. Look at that cool butterfly right there. Wow, <laughs> this is just insane. All right, so we're going down here. So now, here's, here's what I think. I'm gonna go back to this for a second because 
I mean, there's the male sign, and then in here we have a bunch of showers. So I don't think that this was living quarters. I think this was just the bathhouse of this mansion to go down to those pools down there. So I may have had that wrong, that this is actually somebody's house. I think this is just the bathhouse, which if you can imagine that this is just the bathhouse, can you imagine what the main house looked like? Absolutely insane. Wait. All right. Off we go. So cool. Plenty of money. Yeah. This is, if you did cocaine in the 80s, you paid for all this. <laughs> Which, I don't know why I'm laughing, because that is absolutely true. Huh. Very cool. Just to let there. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I would have expected to see a Cayman that uh, would have found this and set up camp. All right, look what we have in this little hole in here, if I can get my light in on. Look at this possum in here. <laughs> oh, look at that cute little guy. He's like so fierce, and then he just licks his lips, and you just want to pet him. What a cutie. All right, buddy, we're going to leave you alone. <laughs> Zilla has everything you need for your reptile pets, from caging to lighting and everything in between. To see their entire catalog and find out where you can get Zilla products near you, visit ZillaRules.com. So, Maldonado, was this like a resort area for narcos well, drug dealers? That is a, is a tourist town, and... When you need to launder money, you build this resort thing. Oh, I see. So that's what these, so they, yeah, didn't, they didn't actually live in these houses. No, no. The houses they lived were huge. I gotcha. So I just turn on the helicopter. Th this is the way that, so this is basically the way that these uh, drug lords yeah. laundered money, was they built these places all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, you see those cows here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well. We're going to move on down this road. There's probably going to be more ruins up here. And hopefully nice. there's going to be more snakes up here. And uh, a lot less cows. Yeah. All right, look what we've like got this. here on the road. So what is this? It's called Bakya. Bakya. And this is a skink-like lizard. He's got legs on the front. He almost looks like a bipus, like a mole lizard. But he has two legs on the front. And hey, come back here. I'm not done with you. This is, it looks like a mole lizard, like the bipus family. And he's got two little legs in the front and in the back there his back legs are almost just vestigial but this is all the bigger they get they're tiny little lizards and as you can see it looks like his tail has broken off and regenerated look, look right here you see your legs in the back you yeah. see your legs yeah. by, by the cloaca his tiny tiny little legs that are almost useless at this point but he's got strong front legs okay such a cool and unique little guy here wow if I recall, there's two species of these here in Colombia. This is bicolor. Yeah, and the one's like black. Actually, the, the other one does have two colors. This one's like just brown. I don't know what they call it. And it's back, yeah. And, back, and chia, back chia. Back chia, yeah. But uh, how rare are these? They're pretty common. They are pretty common. But um, outside of here, nobody knows. Nobody knows, yeah. And I've never... In the Amazon, I saw an orange one. Oh, an orange one, wow. I thought it got away. Yeah, of course. All right, little buddy, go back to Columbia. Wow, such a cool and unique lizard. That could be our ride. The friends. Yes, it is. Yes. All right, we are saved from the wilderness. Hola, buenas noches. So we just got back, guys. You know, I'll tell you, I have herped in some really amazing places, but herping in an abandoned drug lord's mansion here in Colombia, that was not on my bingo card. That was one of the coolest and most amazing places I have ever herped. So anyway, guys, there is lots more coming up from here in Colombia. So as always, thanks for watching. And until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.